اهلا 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 hello guys hi 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 oh my goodness i am so excited for today's episode i feel it's been four months it's been four months since i've taken the time to sit down and put into words what is going on around me um i miss this and i miss putting out something and and creating and I'm so glad to be back, and my oh my do I have updates for you all, I have so much to talk about, and um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a loaded episode, and I'm, I'm super excited to give you an update, but also to, you know, shed some light on some new experiences I've had, and some new lessons, and uh, I hope you all enjoy it, so please, please sit back, relax, enjoy the episode, and let me know what you think, okay? حبيبي يا عيني يا عيني يا ليلي يا مسهر عيني All right guys so today is going to be an additional episode into the season Adenine so season 3 but this is going to be episode 4 and I have it named time attachment and growth and those are all major themes I'm going to touch a touch on within this episode um and just talk about sort of how the year has led me up till this point how the last four months especially have um, shifted my perspective, have affected the way that I view the world and, you know, just honestly adjusted my my outlook and my approach at, at how I face life. Um, so let me let me start with like a quick update. Um, so last time we spoke, I had Carlitos on the show and um, we did a really sentimental episode about him and his life and his outlook. Um, but after that, I, well, so I have finished my, obviously, my summer semester. Oh my god, I turned 19 since the last time that we we spoke. But um, yeah, I'm 19 now. Uh, I've been 19 for like <laughs> like four months. But um, I had a phenomenal birthday with the people that I love around me. I finished my summer semester, did really well. So I continued on to the second half of the summer. And um, I had taken an international public law course. And uh, guys, it was an amazing course. I started it and I was very, very, very like captivated by the content the professor was amazing he was an ambassador um from chile like amazing experience and i realized you know i'm gonna take the full 16 week course of this because this is something i might actually want to pursue so i ended up stopping that course over the summer it was a level 500 as well um and i enjoyed i enjoyed my time off after having back to back to back to back semester um And then I I actually got to go on a trip with my girlfriends. I went with Melina, Angela, and Rebecca, and we went to Miami, and it was a blast. It was seriously so much fun, relaxing, great food, the beach was amazing, and I have so many stories, but ultimately, like, it was was a great getaway, and I definitely needed it, Um, a mini vacation. Uh, we were there for like two weeks, so it was it was it was a breath of fresh air. Lots of dancing, culture, meeting new people was probably the best. After a year of COVID, we met like everybody. Everybody who walked by was friendly. It was it was great. We stayed on South Beach, and then we also spent some time in Brickell. And um, Miami's beautiful, super beautiful. Um, I even had the chance to meet a guy actually. This is, this is really interesting. I met a guy that was on Netflix. Um, he was on one of the, the dating shows. I think it's called Dating Around. And he was one of the guys on, like, it was a girl's episode. And she was like, you know, they do, like, basically, like, a speed dating thing. And I met one. I was like, you look wildly familiar. He's like, yeah. Do you watch Netflix? <laughs> I was like, Yes. And so he told me his name was Manny, but um, that was really interesting and and fun. Um, 
But yeah, Miami was a good time. And um, I started sophomore year. I moved into BU and yeah, it, it's just all so chaotic. I feel like what a year it has been, what a year, both just sophomore year and just like 2021, like starting university this fiscal year has been like kind of kind of like a mind mess up because it, it feels like it's been so much more. Um, but I was able to move into school, get settled. I'm living in the same building that I did over the summer, except this time around, I'm in something called Global House, um, which basically essentially means the whole floor is a bunch of students that are culturally diverse and they are linguistically diverse as well. So um, they're bilingual, trilingual, some of them, um, and we all speak a different language and we're in different clusters. So I'm obviously in the Arabic cluster and I've met some amazing people. My sweet mates are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I have girls that speak Spanish, German, French, Korean. Um, there's just like seriously so many languages and cultures and it's it's kind of beautiful to come back to have something so, so special like that. Um, so through them, I do like weekly Arabic meetings where we're only allowed to speak in Arabic and we're going to be hosting events and... I'm really happy. I'm really happy with my living situation. It's a great building and sophomore year started and with that came in-person classes. <laughs> so I am now completely in person and I am kind of a psycho and decided to overload. So I'm taking 20 credit hours this semester. Um, but I'm super excited about my courses. Let me tell you what they are. So I'm taking uh, natural science, which is like intro to biology uh, for my requirements. It has nothing to do with my major. <laughs> um, and then I'm taking Arabic, Middle East politics, uh, gender and identity in contemporary Middle Eastern film, and then international relations. So um, I'm very loaded. I have a lot on my plate, um, but I absolutely love it. And Thank God, like, I'm very interested in the classes. It's just, like, such a level up compared to being a freshman during a pandemic. So it's been a lot to manage, but let's just say I put in, like, an average of 20,000 steps a day just walking around Boston University. Um, but thank God everything is going great. I've been writing papers on, you know, imperialism in the Middle East and how that's affected uh, both pros and cons. I've been watching films that push my my perspective on culture and the stigma through identity and gender. Um, I really like, you know, I feel like I've 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 jumped into that world of film, even though it has nothing to do with my current major and the requirements. Um, I've been able to watch like films like Cabernet again or The Insult. Uh, Nadine Lebecki or Ziad and like hearing hearing these films again and oh I recently watched Caramel by Nadine Lebecki so good by the way check them out um just connecting again to that culture made me realize like you know how much I do miss Lebanon but how much I love the arts as well I love film I love the depiction of a story of pain of beauty of humor through the arts um visually of course and, um, yeah, and it's been a great experience. And uh, Arabic is... <laughs> so I speak Arabic, but I don't know how to read and write. It's it's actually embarrassing. But um, we're learning, and my teacher, Salima, is amazing, phenomenal. She's hilarious. We'll, we'll be playing, like, Sabah al Khair, the song in class, and, like, Najwa Karam, and we're just learning, and it's a great environment to be in. Um I have made a lot of new friends here too, which thank God that is a blessing because we all know last year was very lonely. Um, so making new friends has been phenomenal. I, I keep using that word. It's been outstanding, spectacular. Uh, just, I guess, like knowing that there's still other people out there and we're all in this together. Uh, I'd never joined a frat or a sorority, but uh, I've been trying to still get the same social exposure and, you know, go to events, uh, meet people, join clubs, 
But with that, I feel like I should tell you I got a new job. Um, You are listening to the voice of Apple's newest sales associate. (laughs) So I, um, I work at Apple now and I will be selling Apple products and helping with customer service on the huge like three floored location in Boylston Street and oh my god I have not started yet I've trained um online and I start this Friday so that's something I'm really looking forward to thank god like the pay is great the opportunity is awesome and it's a huge team and I'm just really excited to interact with people and use my people skills to um sell and to just sort of like be a part of such a huge company that really values its employees and really values, you know, the quality of the material that they sell. And my mom always told me that she could picture me <laughs> working in Apple one day. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan for the next couple of months to save up and to um, sort of balance work, school, life, social life, friends, love life, uh, just just everything and and somehow stay close to God and close to myself, my health. And um, it's, it's kind of like a power life I'm trying to pull off here, but you know, it works sometimes, but there's also, you know, when it rains, it pours as they say, so. Um, I'm actually really happy I'm actually super happy, I think. And that's not to say that there there's a lot happening in my life right now that is testing me. And I'm not going to go into insane detail, but uh, let's just say that, you know, with, you know, our real family by our side, everything is possible. And as long as you stick to the people that you love and that love you, uh, everything's going to be okay. And that's what I'm learning in, in these last couple of weeks. Um, to get into really the the topic for today, time, attachment, and growth, I'd first like to talk about time. Since we've last spoken, I have gone through a lot of character development, um, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of growth, figuring out what I want, who I am. And I'm really proud of myself for doing things that, you know, pushed me to explore that side of me and, you know, taking courses that I I knew were probably too much, but still delving into it or loading so much on my plate uh, to, to just take a course that I like instead of one that I need. And um, exploring relationships with people that, you know, that I hadn't give up, given up on. And uh, again, not to go into so much detail, but I'm really happy that I didn't give up on certain people in my life. And that, you know, the right, the right ones will, will come back, will... We'll fight for you. We'll stick it out. We'll work with you when time is right. And time is such a powerful concept. Sometimes the best people will be in your life. It's just not the right time. And so long as you keep loving without attachment and focusing on your own on your own progress, you really never know when you're going to cross paths again. You never know when, honestly, when God wants things to work for you or when things are supposed to be right. And I'm actually with a person right now that makes me ecstatic, (laughs) makes me very happy. And um, just let's say that the time was worth it. The time was most definitely worth it. And I'm, I'm really, I'm happy that I took the time to be with myself and realize that love is not attachment. Love is kind. Love is patient. And, and although love can get crazy, it's, it's rewarding. And, um, and that's not only in a romantic sense, but also through your family. Our family has, my family has been um, 
facing some obstacles in our various ways these last couple of weeks, uh, whether they're, you know, personal obstacles or unit obstacles, we have been sticking together and supporting each other when we need it the most. And um, it's a beautiful thing. But with this, with this crossroads of sort of like being away from home, away from my parents, from my siblings, I'm starting to confront this concept that I feel I'm leaving my youth behind. This, this like sort of transition into a more mature life that I think I have a, a different kind of grasp on. I don't want to say a better grasp, but, you know, one where I have more control over my own destiny and that um, my legacy depends on me. And yes, I've been built with such a strong, loving foundation of a family, unconditional love, devotion, care. Um, this point where I can't be home, but I know that, you know, home is a tough environment right now or a pained environment right now makes me realize, you know, I don't, I don't live at home. Um, but I still, I still need to make the effort to tell the people that I love, that I love them and be with them and support them and somehow take the lessons of this unit experience of how this affects the family to how... Adeline can sort of take this. Adeline can learn the lessons and, and implement them into her own life. I'm not sure that all makes sense with no detail, but um, I have my own job now. I am on my own schedule now. I have my own relationships. I live away. I, I have big plans coming up. Um, just to tell you, like, I am planning, all of this is still in the works, but I always like to keep you guys updated. That's part of the content of this podcast, whether or not it's a success or a failure. <laughs> um, but I am planning to be abroad for all of junior year, next willing God, next year, God willing. Um, and right now, the project is to go to Geneva and work in the United Nations for a semester, the headquarters there in Switzerland and um, have that count towards my degree here at BU and it's all covered through my scholarship and I'll be traveling and um, doing things that I love on an individual level and it's super empowering to know that I have these opportunities at hand and that I can you know use the connections I've made up until this point to sort of propel me in the way of my dreams um, but that's so surreal to sit in a beautiful building in the middle of Beacon Street and go to a top tier school, um, learning what I love as a woman, while also realizing like I can work, I can go to school, I can chase my dreams, I can control the relationships in my life. You know, I'm making all these big girl decisions. And I think I'm trying to wake up and realize that, like, I am a big girl. It's it's a weird it's a weird thing, um, but that concept of time and, and realizing the responsibility that comes with it has really pushed me to question. You know, am I losing my youth, like, or or have I somehow now become independent from my family or independent in the eyes of my own destiny? Just something to ponder about, you know. To the second topic of today, attachment. So I've already talked about it, loving without attachment. Attachment is something that is such a deep topic. I think with insecurity, with lack of trust, we attach ourselves to people, to objects, to places, um... I think we forget that the best things in life come naturally. And again, that, 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 that point of destiny, that point of fate, fate and what God wants, it's powerful. Just, just letting time take its course and realizing, you know, what is meant to be will be, what is meant to be will be, having faith in a greater plan because there is so little that we can control. And um, attachment to a home, 
attachment to a lover, attachment to friends. First and foremost, you need to be attached to your own health and to your own well-being. And to really honestly, the ones that love you unconditionally, that are there for you no matter what. And that's what makes a home. That's what makes a family. It's not really blood. It's not a building. It's the people. Whether they're friends or you're lucky enough to have blood that support you and love you unconditionally. Uh, that's love. That's true, true, true love without attachment. And um, I think it's a, it's a it's important to, to really sit down and ask yourself, do you know how to love without attachment? Do you know how to be your own individual, emulate love, and somehow control your feelings, control who you are, the narrative you want to give off, the morals you would like to represent and portray in your own life? And um, growth. Through that, grow, fly, Test yourself, ask yourself questions, experiment, figure out what you like in life, hobbies, careers, people, you know, I, I'm really happy right now. I'm really happy and it's a tough time, but I am pushing through because I know again that I'm surrounded by people that love me, that when things get tough, there's a select group of people that I know will have my back and, um, that to me is such a rewarding feeling, knowing that you can love with all of your heart people and they will love you back unconditionally. So I, I really hope that that left a clear message. And I'm still learning. I'm still going through the motions myself. There's a lot of hate around me. There is a lot of tough questions that I've been asking myself and um, I'm, I'm excited I'm excited to grow into a young woman to be proud of the girl that I have become over these years over these experiences this this year since January has taught me so much has taught my heart so much my mind my my soul I I hope to continue this and I hope to keep flying in my life, to keep chasing after my dreams and not fall into the motions, not fall into the attachment, the insecurity, the drama. There's so much drama. Focus on, on what I have here right now and, and what, what goals I want for myself for tomorrow. And I promise you, once you focus on your passion, on your purpose, there's nothing like it. There is absolutely nothing like the empowerment that comes with having a purpose and a passion. Maybe, maybe that's what I want to leave you with today, guys, is time, attachment, and growth. These three themes. Reflect. But more than anything, find your passion and your purpose and take it and fly. Let that be your distraction. Let that be what you invest your time in. It'll help you with your mental health. It'll help you with your time management. It'll help you just be a happier person in general. It could be anything from cooking to global politics to sports to stem to anything like get on the get on the field you know do things with your hands take time away from your phone meet new people explore open your mind question why you think the way you do and really be in touch with your heart and with yourself find find your find your mission find your duty and um don't don't give up on that don't give up on that part of yourself so uh, I know that was a little all over the place but uh, that's a little bit of an update and I'm sorry it keeps taking me so long 
I really have a whole list of people I want to get on the show and a lot of people have been asking me about it. I've talked a lot about my podcast with my Apple uh, co-workers and um, I realize this is something that I love and it, it doesn't it doesn't need to take so much out of me to, to produce, to be creative. Um, so please let me know if you guys want to hear any specific topics. Uh, I will be rolling out some new ones and I have a couple of people I would really like on the show if they're interested. Um, I, I love this and I, I hope that this helps you too. I really do. Shukran, thank you for listening and I hope you tune into the rest of the episodes whenever they come out. Enjoy your week and I hope to catch you on the next episode. Ma salama. Bye guys.